I've stumbled across a brilliant way of picking the right golf ball to use and I'm going to go through it now. If this works for me, maybe it'll be perfect for you too. The bottom line is, no matter what you score in a round of golf, the one consistent factor is the golf ball that you're playing for every shot. Now about a year ago I was given a dozen Vice Pros and I liked them. You get them for a good price online, they're good off the tee, feel nice around the green, so I stuck with them. I've also been sent and tried the Seeds and the Pearls. And if you're looking for a reasonably priced golf ball, these are all good options for you. But right now I'm trying to sharpen up my game. And a week or two ago, I played 18 holes with the Titleist Pro V1s. And I have to admit that they performed really well. So with that in mind, I've been wondering what's the best golf ball for me to play. And that's when I came across a tool on the Titleist website that gives you guidelines on how to test yourself on what ball you should be playing. What I especially like about it is that you can do it by yourself and you can test any golf balls you like. So although the tool comes from Titleist, you can test other golf balls. Their testing method focuses on a green to tee process with the focus definitely on how you perform, how the ball performs around the green, less so on the tee. From there, they give you a scorecard and I'll put a link to that below this video. It's what I'm gonna be using today. And on the scorecard, it recommends that you compare three golf balls. So I'm gonna be testing the Vice Pro which is the ball I've been using for the last couple of years, the Titleist Pro V and the Titleist Pro V1X. And basically you're looking at flight, feel and spin and scoring the golf balls against each other using their scorecard. I've got a mate on the drone and we're gonna try and capture some of the footage of how the golf ball actually lands. But I'm basically just gonna do the test. I'll give you my scores see how I think all of the different golf balls compare and see if by the end of this, I can make a decision on what's the best golf ball for me to be playing. So first up, we're gonna start with the 20 yard chip and run. So just looking for that little bit of feel around here, slightly wet greens. We're gonna see how it runs out. The first chip in here is the Vice Pro. You're not expecting much spin at this time in the morning and from this distance, it's run out nicely. That's followed by the Pro V1X, which to be honest has done very similarly and also has the Pro V1. Mostly the noticeable difference here on my end was a slightly different feel off the club face. I under hit the Pro V1, hence it's a little bit further back. Okay, so we've hit the bump and runs from 20 yards where you're just getting that little bit of check perhaps and mostly they're running out. Now we've moved back to 50 yards in the fairway Hopefully from here we'll start to see a little bit of a difference or we'll start to notice more on the feel and the flight. The first shot in is the Pro V1X and you can tell from how short it is, not my best shot, but it does check up nicely. You'll see the difference there, the Vice Pro has rolled out more and the Pro V1 stops sharply. A little bit better strike. So now we've moved back to the 75 yard shot. For me, this is probably a three quarter, 54 degree wedge, but we'll see what it does, how it feels and how it lands. This shot with the Pro V1 is the first one you see that little bit of zip back. The Vice Pro does stop nicely after a couple of bounces. And the Pro V1X, even though not hit perfectly, does stop sharper than the Vice. So now we move back to 99 distance and it doesn't really matter what that distance is because it's going to be different for all of us. But we're going to see how the balls perform from here. And I'm thinking we'll start with the Vice. The 9-iron with the Pro V1 is another example of that zip back, nice control. I wasn't able to pick up the landing on the other two balls, but you can just see they've not had the zip, they've just bounced and checked to a stop. So now we're back at the 7-iron distance. Again, same protocol. This time we're gonna start with the Pro V, see how we go. This shot's a fraction right, so it's just bounced on a slight downslope and run out. Not very far though, good control. 
So the greenkeepers just come and turn the sprinkler on, which changes things a little bit, but we'll play the shots anyway. Looks like the green keeper has come back to turn our sprinklers off for us, which is nice. Obviously the green's going to be a little bit wetter, but what can you do? I know, he's turned ones on the other side. But it's the joys of filming outside on a golf course. They've got to look after the golf course at the end of the day. More important than me testing Titleist golf balls and vice, I agree. Here's the Pro V1X, and it's just bounced and run a fraction. That was followed by the vice that did the same just front of the green. So we've now hit all of the wedges. We've hit the nine iron and the seven iron in this green to tee approach. And the next thing to do is to hit a fairway wood and then driver. Obviously without being a professional golfer, the shots aren't all gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna play one of each of the balls. Got a five wood, gonna aim for the green. We're gonna see what it's like, see how we get on. The vice has come out just a little bit low. I've just turned it over a fraction. The Pro V1. This wasn't a bad strike. Just right of the pin, quite a nice ball flight. Pleased with that one. And then similarly, the Pro V1X. Again, this one's gone straight at the pin. It felt a fraction higher to me than it did on the Pro V1. So it looks like I'm arguably better at hitting the green with a five wood than a seven or a nine iron. So the Pro V1X has landed here and gone there. So it stopped really quickly. Nice high ball flight. Pro V1 just off the side of the green. Not a lot difference there. And the vice, that's the vice. So the final part of the test with tight list is back on the tee, obviously hitting the driver. And the thing I found quite interesting about this process is that they're much less, and it seems like a lot of the manufacturers are much less focused on the driver and the spin there. I think because they all feel like they perform pretty well. What they seem to focus on more is that control around the green where you're gonna make your score. This is the Pro V1X and that's a solid strike. It's just leaked a fraction into the right hand rough but it's a narrow driving hole. The Vice Pro, I've just started this a little bit more down the middle and it's faded away at the end. But again, this one's gonna find the fairway. Finally, the Pro V1. That's a good solid strike. So in terms of results with the driver, the first shot that I hit with the Pro V1X, that sneaked down into the rough a little bit. So that one's just here. Only probably I'd say a yard or so behind the Vice Pro, which is just on the edge of the fairway. Vice Pro. The better of the shots was the Pro V1, which was in the middle of the fairway, probably about five yards further than the Vice Pro, but it was the better shot. Okay, so after going through all of the testing, I liked all three golf balls. I felt that they all feel nice off the club face. They all perform well for what they're trying to do. And really, if I was comparing the golf balls, the two Titleist balls, I said, they probably felt a little bit firmer than the Vice Pro. Not that they felt hard, they just somehow felt a bit firmer. The Pro V1X, for me, went a little bit higher than the Pro V1, and I'm not so much looking for the height. So after thinking about everything and going through the scores, I'll put my scorecard up, but the winner for me today is gonna to be the Pro V1. I just feel that it's got a little bit more consistent performance on the green than the Vice. For me, it feels like it checks up a little bit quicker. They all felt nice, but the Pro V1 is going to be the golf ball that I think suits me best and is going to be the one I play. Hope something in this video has been helpful for you. If you liked it, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in another video again soon.